Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and another Grizzly Bear Sims tutorial. And yes, this is going to be on course play. You know, there course play has dozens and dozens of different uses. Um, one of the things that may come in handy when you're just starting out on a new map, especially if that map may be the uh, reset point is still at the main store, as was the case with the default um, version of Goldcrest Valley that came new with Farm Sim 17. Obviously, the reset point is here at the store. So if you purchase equipment and you want to get it down to your main farm, you're really left uh, to drive it. So uh, we can automate that, simplify this process just a little bit by creating a course play course. And we'll just jump in our brand new Dutzfar Series 9 here that we purchased and go ahead and bring him out here and I think we'll start the course out here in the middle okay so what we want to do is we want to bring up course play and we want to use this option here this transfer drive from start to finish it's got the little dot the arrow and the dot so we click that make sure that's illuminated green and then we will go ahead and start our course recording and we will drive our course And I'll do some editing, and I'll see you when we get to the main farm. Now, as we approach the main farm, I will just tell you that you've got a couple of different options that you can go with here for a course like this. We can, if all we want is a course from the store to the main farm, whenever we pull into the main farm yard area, we can just go ahead and click the Stop Recording button. And in the course right here, and that will obviously end the course and anything, any tractor or uh, piece of equipment that you start the course from the store will basically come to this point and they will stop. That's the end of the course. Or we can actually make this a continuous loop uh, because maybe there's equipment that you want to sell from the main farm. And of course, we get a higher premium by actually selling that equipment at the at the store, at the main store or perhaps you don't have a uh, maintenance shop here on your main farm and you need to take that equipment in occasionally to do maintenance at the shop. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a loop. So I'm gonna create a waypoint here, okay, just like that. And then we're basically going to drive back to the store, come around our main farm here and go back the same way that we came. And I will see you when we get back to the store. And we just come back through the store parking lot here and we will just end our course here in the middle area. Now one might think that you can just simply stop the recording of the course and your tractor would stop right here. Um, that would not be the case actually if you were to just end the course by clicking the stop recording button your tractor would basically proceed to the start again and then go right back around. So what we want to do is we're going to end or we're going to enter a wait point right here and then we are going to end the course right there and then of course we can save our course and I've actually already recorded this course and I have saved it by equipment transfer store to farm and so that's what we're going to use so I will just load that course up and we'll move our tractor up here straighten him up just a little bit here and we will load this course as we already have and then we will start the course at the first waypoint and click drive course and our dudes far will continue the course and go back to the main farm Now I'm going to jump out here. We'll let the Dutes Far do his thing. He will go back to the main farm. We're going to run over here and we're going to grab one of our other pieces of equipment here. Uh, let's send this back to the shop. So let's say we had this, uh, had maintenance done on our Massey and we're going to send this back to the main farm. So we will just load our course and we will say 
drive up. We will say start course at first waypoint. And he will drive back to the main farm. So let's actually tab until, actually I'm gonna edit the video and I'll see you back in the Dutes Far at the main farm. All right, so as you can see, our Dutes Far has returned back to the main farm. He will come up to the, to the, uh, to the parking, the stop, and we have a choice to either continue, which would basically send the tractor back to the main store, or we can stop the driver. Well, let's stop the driver because we want to use or we want to leave the Dutes Far here on this farm. So we will just drive him over here and park him under, under a barn like so. And we'll jump out and momentarily our Massey Ferguson pulling our cedars should arrive. And I'll edit the video and bring you back whenever that tractor has come around. All right, and just like clockwork, here is our Massey Ferguson pulling our cedar. And he will slow down, and he will come up to his stopping, his waiting point, and he will stop, and he will stay there until we do something. And we can either, again, we can either stop the driver, if this is where we want him to be, or we can continue, and he'll go back to the main store. But again, this is where we want this tractor, so we're going to stop the driver, and we'll go ahead and just park this tractor out of the way. And that pretty much brings us to a close for this tutorial. Um, these types of courses can be useful for many different things, not just, uh, not just your um, store to main farm transfer. If you have a field somewhere that you want to set up a recording from your main farm to that field and start moving equipment, like your your combine, a tractor and a tipper, maybe uh, a tractor pulling a plow and a tractor pulling a cedar, something like that. You can set up these transfer courses and start your tractor and your tipper or whatever the case might be on that course and make sure you set a waiting point and that way they will all wait until you basically either stop the driver or continue and send the driver further on down the road. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Uh, we're starting with some of the basics of course play and building our way up to some of the more complex um, uses of course play to help you on your virtual farm. Thank you so much for watching and come back again very soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.